Welcome to the GD Spirit Pub for rebel souls, earth angels, and courageous hearts. Because we believe we chose this crazy human existence, we're here to ponder upon the challenges, the meaning, and purpose. Cheers to you for tuning in to your soul. And joining us at the GD Spirit Pub for a pint of joy and to enlighten up. Well, hey there, and welcome to the GD Spirit Pub. So glad you've joined us. So, uh, I'm Green Diva Meg. I'm Weenie Greenie Julie. WG Julie. Because <laughs> I say GD Meg, so I think WG. I know, Does WG. Does anybody know what WG means? It's a bit of a mouthful. But Weenie Greenie's adorable. I love that. <laughs> I'm only four foot three, for those of you who don't know. I often wonder if I need to explain that in each episode and I don't. And, well, yeah, and I want people to know that I didn't name her that. She <laughs> no, named herself that, which makes it all the more adorable. First episode ever of Not This, we were doing a Green Diva show, and I threw that one at you and got you laughing. Yeah. That was worth it. Yeah, that, that, was, that was good. So this episode, we thought we would talk about surrender, letting go. What does that mean? How do you do it? And why? 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 Right. Do you even have to? Is that giving up? <laughs> Is that the white flag and that's it? Right. And in AA, we say, surrender to win, which I always thought sounded kind of stupid, but <laughs> it's actually kind of true. So one of the things, and, and, and Julie and I just recently... We're talking about this, the serenity prayer, mm. which is a staple in 12-step programs everywhere because it's simple, concise, and awesome, really powerful. It's a powerful tool for identifying. It's, I'll just say it real yes. quick. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference, of course. <laughs> the the wisdom clincher. to know the difference is the clincher. Yeah, if, if it were only easy to tell, oh, what's control, what's surrender, it's not. It's a balance. Well, it is, and that's why I think the serenity prayer has been so valuable for me because often just in reciting that in my mm -hmm. head, I quickly identify, well, I can't control that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. And I guess I can make a phone call or write this person or whatever. I can do something. Mm. Or control our yeah. response to that person, that situation, to realize, wow, the more I complain mm -hmm. about that as if it's outside me, the farther away uh, is my um, empowered response. My right. ability to change it is within me. And wow, I forget that on a regular basis. <laughs> Every day, mm. twice a day, 10 times a day. So the wisdom to know the difference for me is usually a process, right? I have to kind of, you know, identify what, what's happening and what can I do, what can So when I think of surrender or letting go, it usually is, is because I'm in an uncomfortable <laughs> vibe, right? I'm like agitated. That's Something's right. Not That's right. the clue <laughs> that we're trying to control the uncontrollable. And that we're disconnected. Oh, you mean huh. like duct taping waves to the beach? <laughs> like, like that. <laughs> kind of like having teenage daughters. Oh, exactly. <laughs> teenagers. That's a perfect example. Parents of teenagers do know what we're talking about. Yes. Need we say more? Or really any relationship. My attempts to control or otherwise change my husband, my kids, all oh, my parents any of it just leads us to a disempowered feeling because, well, they're probably not going to change. But beyond that, if, as Byron Katie says, if we're in someone else's business, who's in our business? Yeah. Nobody. So we're not running our own lives, which is hard enough because we're busy trying to figure out either what other people are doing or like me, Con recovering control freak wishing I could make them do things the way I think right. they should be done aka the right way <laughs> uh, and I will try and sort of 
get out of that when my husband says, you just want me to do it your way. And I'm like, no, 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 it's, it's, it's the best way, I'll say. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's better for us. That could even be true and some, but it's not my decision to say what's best for him. And, right. ooh, that's upsetting. Oh, my God. That was like me watching my husband clean a pan this morning. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to bite my lip. I was like, wait, what? What are you doing? What? Are you putting yeah. soap in that cast iron? Yeah, wait. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I literally just like, okay, stop. The man is cleaning a pan, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or or loading the dishwasher? Yeah. Are you the, are you one who likes to load it a certain, a certain way? way? Oh, me, 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 me. <laughs> and you know what? We, my husband and I will do. We'll actually switch it. The <laughs> other one will put the little blades on the top, and he, I'm the other one, I will put the little <laughs> plates on the top. That makes total sense. He will move them to the bottom, and then I will move them back. <laughs> <laughs> Absurd. So like, yeah, right. You're like a a uh, war on the <laughs> a war on the dishwasher. And really, I yes, I am pleased that he <laughs> and my sons, as badly as they do it, they will put <laughs> all their dishes in the dishwasher. And there are times where I can just be happy about that, and other times I'm being picky and ridiculous. Yeah. So I mean, it's choose your battles. There, it's right? it. I mean, totally you is. know. So surrender, let go. I mean, again, we always come back to. It's about being in the present. And it's very hard to surrender when you're, you know, anchored to the past in some way or... uh, Spinning in the future. Yes. You had it written down because when we were talking about this, I I said... I love that expression you had. Spinning in the future, spinning in future possibilities. Yeah. Useless. Yeah. That's the rat wheel. That is the hamster wheel that goes on in my head. Look, what about this? What about that? What about this? What about that? What about this? And (laughs) just goes around and around and around. And meanwhile, and it's exhausting. It's exhausting, and there's no joy in this moment. It's very ungrounding because we're not in the future. So in this present, we're sort of lost our anchoring to where we're at. So literally, this um, Byron Katie will suggest: Do you feel the chair under you? Do you feel the bottoms of your feet? To kind of bring us back to our body, and that wow, in this moment, in this breath. All is well. Yeah, it's an, an AA thing, and I'm not sure where it came from. You know, as so many of them, it's these true. Phrases are is if you're kind of spinning out, the sponsor will say to the sponsee, "Where are your feet?" Mm, and the mm. sponsee says, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> and the sponsor says, "Where are your feet?" That's where. You, and then when you, by the time when you look down, and you're like, "But I'm right here." And you're like, no, you're not. Mm. No, you're not. Your head is every ooh, everywhere else. Your head is everywhere <laughs> she else. She yanked her. Ah, my head. Right <laughs> her off. head set right off her head. Yeah, you know, your head's everywhere else. And so bringing that focus back to where am I right now? What am I doing? Mm. Because, uh, yeah, yeah. There's power in the present. And surrendering our control of the future or of the past yeah because we can't fix that for sure definitely can't although we can rewrite it in a positive way i've done that where i've revisited when i wrote my memoir i've revisited so many difficult events and i redid them and my therapist helped me at the time champion myself Mm -hmm. as a child as a young adult as an adult it continues to happen and what would you have liked to have seen happen in that and visualizing it and using our incredibly powerful imagination allows us to let go of some of the voltage of yeah. the old wounds. I like that, the it, voltage, yeah. right? that, that kind of charge Ooh. that's there. Yeah. And we know that it's there when we think about that old event and like there's a contraction in our body and, and, and then there, the mind starts whirling. That is the opposite of surrender. <laughs> it is the, this is the opposite of surrender. Well, yeah. it and it is. It's sort of, you know, the past that resentment that we could just kind of keep going over like yeah mm. and that happened and then that you know it's it's definitely the antichrist of surrender of being <laughs> present right so one of the things i think we talked about being a foundation of surrender is trust in a higher power of yeah. some kind bingo right 